Hello Scorpio, I hope you're all well. In today's reading we'll be looking at whoever's on your mind for the rest of the year. We have strong earth signs coming through. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Sagittarius, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Libra, Aries, Capricorn. Yes, those are the signs. It doesn't have to be your person's sign. It is energy we are looking at. This person's overall energy, we have Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Justice. They seem to be very work-focused. Some of you, this person could have been committed, may even have been married to you, and there was a divorce separation because we do have the King and Queen of Pentacles. And others of you, they could have been committed elsewhere. But regardless of what your situation is, it seems that this person has some significant decision they need to make when it comes to their career. And this seems to be a life-altering decision because we do have major arcana coming through. So yeah, right now they do have money on their mind and they're contemplating making some sort of decision when it comes to their career finances. How they're viewing you, perceiving you, we have King of Pentacles, Four of Swords. So yeah, Four of Swords is a card that indicates that you're on a break. There may be no contact, right? Which this reading is about. So it's reaffirming you are not communicating you're not going out of your way to reach out to this person. They see you as someone who's laid back and also financially focused. A businessman, businesswoman, you're someone who's mature, you're stable, and perhaps a lot of you are uh, well off here financially is how they're seeing you. So uh, yeah, they're seeing you in a positive light, someone who has it all together, someone that would make a good, great long-term partner, someone who's loyal, dedicated, but once they commit to a situation. But fours also talk about stability. So yeah, overall mature, stable person is how they're seeing you. How they're feeling about you with mixed emotions. We have depressed and longing. Um, with your tarot, we have ace of pentacles clarified by five of cups, the fool, the devil. So there was an element of temptation here. I'm seeing strong lust, but it wasn't just about the lust here. There was emotions. At one point there still are um, this person is missing you with longing five of cups there is regrets here this person sees your value with the ace of pentacles yeah they saw that there was a lot of potential here but this person seems to be non-committal for whatever reason if they're already in a commitment you know they felt this that you were a temptation this was too risky right they don't want to let go of what they've already established with the ten of pentacles some of them may even have children right and others of you, it can be just a player lifestyle here is what I'm seeing. Someone who's not ready to settle down. But they could have been someone who wanted to keep you around and explore their options. You weren't having it. Either you're all in or it's nothing sort of attitude. But yes, they do miss you. They do think about you. And they're still very attracted to you. But the issue is that you wouldn't know this and they're not acting upon these feelings because they're not able to give you what you deserve is what i'm seeing their intentions towards you we have ten of swords nine of pentacles death yeah this person's wanting to be single right independent from this situation um there was a some of you there could have been cheating a betrayal because we have the knight of wands the red cape here and on the ten of swords we have the red cape flying away some of you, this person could have ghosted you, but I'm also getting that you may have blocked them. So if you've blocked them, Scorpio, there is an energy of feeling helplessness, right? Because they can't reach out to you. They can't come towards you. Yeah, they feel frustrated if you've blocked them. Some of you, it can be also that this was someone who was in and out. They're very, very flighty and you establish stronger boundaries with death. I'm seeing the rope here as well, right? So you, you know, although you had feelings for this person, you you realize you deserve better here. You know your worth and you weren't having this person in and out ways. So you may have um, blocked communication here as well because of this person's behavior. I see that. So it really depends on your situation. But their intentions isn't to do anything. They're working on themselves. We have a lot of pentacles come through in their energy. This is also someone who acts single, um, even within a commitment. They're not the most loyal. So if they 
uh, were committed to another energy. Uh, they still have a wandering eye. I see that with the Knight of Wands Magician. This may be someone who's playing the field, um, getting to know multiple people is what I'm seeing. And they're very charming with their words. Very charismatic individual. And yeah, they've done this before, Scorpio. So if they broke your heart, I don't think you're losing out on much, really, right? If they chose someone over you, they're not loyal to that person either. So it's almost dodging a bullet in the first place. How you'll be feeling about this person, or you are, we have temperance, five of wands, the world. I think this situation introduced a lot of drama in your life, right? Especially if you felt you were competing for this person, right? You had to fight for their attention. You're not willing to do that. With temperance, I'm so, sort of getting that vibe. Thanks, but no thanks, right? <laughs> With that pose she has, I'm sort of keeping this person at arm's length. And some of you, there may have been literal distance here with Sagittarius and the world, ninth house of travel, yeah, yeah, or something to do with your backgrounds. But you're releasing, I'm, you're working on your healing and you seem to be um, releasing what happened here, your healing is your overall vibe. Some of you may be curious about them, which is why you're watching this reading, because with temperance, she does have her one eye open, right? So if, if you hear this person's name or you you know someone's talking about them, you would listen. <laughs> You're curious as the vibe I'm getting. Your potential outcome, we have Eight of Swords, Two of Cups. Um, I think there is... You do think about this person. Um, Eight of Swords. They may even cause you anxiety when you think about them. And the reason for that is because this was a soulmate connection, if you believe in that. But... Regardless, this was a strong emotional bond. Uh, you both felt it. I I feel it. So I think it was mutual. Not only is there an emotional connection, but there's also a lot of uh, passion here. Or there was, right? And we have two of cups in your outcome. We had them with the five of cups, right? What are they mourning? The three cups. The connection still remains. Um, this person may feel that you're letting go, you're moving on, but it's still there, right? Behind her is the two cups standing, which I see in your outcome. So it is a difficult uh, connection to um, completely let go of, but I think a lot of you are trying to move on because as time goes on here for the next few months, I, what I see this person doing is trying to detach. So I think you will be keeping your options open here as well. Their outcome, we have Nine of Swords, Hermit, Hangman, Knight of Cups. Okay, so you have the Eight of Swords in your outcome. They have the Nine of Swords. So you're both overthinking this situation. You're both stressed out. But you more so, I think it's, I can't escape these feelings I have for you, right? For a lot of you. And for them, it seems to be more guilt, regret. So if they've done you wrong, there's a lot of guilt here, Scorpio. Um, so they are getting their karma if they did you wrong. And those of you that have rejected this person because of their behavior, you blocked them, whatever you did, right? Um, perhaps giving them silent treatment, you're not communicating. Um, it's almost you bruised their ego in a way, so they're questioning themselves, right? Was I not good enough? Am I not good enough? That is what is going on in their head, and that is causing them a lot of anxiety. So that is why with the Nine of Pentacles Hermit, it's almost someone who's trying to regain their um, independence here because there was a level of codependency at least coming from this person but it may have been mutual here so yeah i don't see much happening in their outcome i see stagnancy they are trying to look at things from your perspective right and if they've done you wrong they are reflecting so they are taking ownership but i don't see them coming forward with an apology their emotions are there the thought is there but i don't see it being expressed so yeah, the next few months I see this person wanting to detach. But let's get you some uh, messages from this person as well, Scorpio. So I didn't give this reading a time frame here, Scorpio. This is more so present energies. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is the issue with this person. I'm telling you, they did have feelings. That wasn't the issue. I'm... Oh, I love you with all my heart, but I'm afraid of letting you down. I have a cheating problem. And regardless of if this person's in an established situation, they still have a wandering eye. Right? I love you with all my heart. Father Cops, I miss you. Um, I feel empty. And, and he's they're ending the reading with the Knight of Cups. But I have a cheating problem. So this has nothing to do with you. This person has a problem with being loyal or committed to one person you make me feel happy and complete your presence soothes me so yeah it does seem that you were feeling some sort of void or you just you had this person feeling very good about themselves and those of you that resonate with you know you rejected them you bruised their ego in a way right so they were getting they loved the attention you were giving them some of you this person's try to replace you right after this separation this ending um, they put themselves out there, but they're having a hard time replacing you. You have so many after your love. How could you possibly only want me? I'm not sure if I will be enough for you. Yeah, this person's questioning their worth. Was I not good enough? Is there something wrong with me? I was feeling that strongly. So this person knows your worth. They know you're, you can have anyone you want. At least that is how they're perceiving you, right? Whether you feel that or not. I feel like giving up. I can't seem to find a way to make us work. I'm emotionally burnt out. Yeah, nine of swords, five of cups. I feel terrible for ghosting you and avoiding you. I didn't have the courage to say what needed to be said. But the issue is if this person did ghost with that red cape flying away, they are getting their karma here because they're the one who they're stressing. There's a lot of guilt. They miss you. Haha. <laughs> Word for word, didn't I say that? I've tried to replace you, but no one compares to you. No one loves like a Scorpio. I've called you so many times, but hung up before it rang, I get so nervous. So that may be the reason I was seeing them trying to detach or um, they weren't doing much, right? Let's get this ghost deck. No, why? Some of you, they had a decision to make between two with justice, queen of pentacles, and they chose someone else over you, or they chose their job, I'm not sure. But you are dealing with a player and someone who is non-committal. Fear, I feel like I lose all control when I'm around you. So there may have been, I'm not seeing strong indications of power struggle, but yeah, there could have been with that codependency, a fear of losing the other. So wanting, to, you know, there may have been some manipulation here um, to keep the other person hooked, involved. Fear again, that's twice. I couldn't find the right words to say to you. There was nothing I could say that you would want to hear. Yeah, um, because I think you were very clear in terms of where you were headed and what you wanted out of the situation and they weren't able to give you that and some of you it can be right you don't want to give this you don't want to repeat past cycles you didn't want to give this another chance and this person knew there was nothing that they could say to save the situation right uh, one more insecurity yeah didn't think someone like you would be interested in me since this separation, this person's questioning whether you were even interested in them. They don't think you're bothered. King of Pentacles, Four of Swords. And we also have Immature. I need some inner child healing. I resort to disappearing acts in order to regain control of the situation. I ghosted you because I wanted to teach you a lesson. So this can be your energy or this person's, whoever was uh, ghosting the other, right? So if this person has ghosted, they're playing games with you. They didn't intend on leaving forever, right? It was sort of to get a reaction out of you, is what I'm seeing. I'll get you advice. I don't think you need advice, but I'm, I'm used to getting advice at the end of the readings. We have blocked. Walkway not maintained in winter season. Something is blocking you from moving forward. 
eight of swords if you are honest with yourself about what it is you will have the power to change it there are always options so some of you see you can interpret this according to your situation but it can be where you're not seeing that and there's also other connections out there so there may be that feeling that you know i won't feel what i did for this person for another i can never love again i'll never find love right eight of swords can be negative self-talk negative thinking in general right so that is why your guides are reminding you there's always options there is a way out right um they are what i'm feeling is they're wanting you to explore keep your options open I want to see how uh, you will be feeling about this person in the next few months and how they'll be feeling about you. Is there any changes? How will Scorpio be feeling about this person in the next few months here? Three of Swords. Yeah, the separation distance will continue. Eight of Cups. You'll be emotionally uh, withdrawing, clocking out. I see you holding back. Some of you, it takes a lot of willpower um, to keep your distance, but yeah you don't trust this person because of what they have put you through look at that tornado in the back yeah nope i don't see this i don't see you initiating or going out of your way to do anything yeah i see you keeping your options open but you getting a lot of wow look at that sun star and the sun and six of wands that talks about some Wow, if you do something in the public eye, definitely can be public recognition praise, but in terms of dating, Sun also rules our fifth house, Leo, right? So that is getting attention from others. You have suitors, is what I'm getting, and you will have your pick. So there's plenty of fish in the sea, which is why your guides were saying there are always options, and you have plenty of them. So it's really up to you, Scorpio. Now let's get this person this person on Scorpio's mind. How will they be feeling about Scorpio here next few months? How will this person be feeling? Four of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Uh, why Four of Wands? Okay, Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles talks about reconciliation, collaboration. I'll give you two interpretations here. If this person's completely single, I see them wanting to come back around, right? To reunite and sort of saying, uh, some of you, they could want a commitment stability, but more so just a friendship, wanting to collaborate, cooperate on some level here, right? So they're not wanting to let you go entirely. For those of you that this person was in another commitment, uh, they're still in that commitment moving forward and they'll want to th <laughs> this is a third party right so i'd be careful what is this person's intentions towards scorpio next few months here yeah a lot of you this is a third party and they have a decision to make i was seeing the look at that they're waiting on reconciliation three of cups six of cups seven of pentacles judgment yeah look at that second chance so their intentions will to reunite will be to reunite so what i see happening here is almost a pro i'm seeing their thought process here so they'll be uh maintaining distance because you are you're not communicating with them either and they'll be overthinking um and they'll be waiting for that perfect time they'll try to detach they'll have a hard time i'm um, completely letting this go and over the next few months they'll want to see you again um, is what I'm seeing. That's crazy. I don't know. I just, I like, I, you can't get more confirmation than judgment, six of cups, three of cups, but why not? Let's get more intentions. Sorry if I'm not making sense. I'm just really tired, Scorpio. Okay, what is this person's intentions towards Scorpio? We'll get two from this deck. 
I'm going to put out a show to make you jealous. Yeah, this person will be playing games. Um, and just, I don't know how um, they'll be trying to get a reaction out of you. Some of you, it can be through social media, right? If that's the only way you uh, are in contact with one another. And if you see them in person through work, school, yeah, they may be doing things intentionally to make you feel jealous. It's sort of testing you to see if you really care about them. <laughs> they feel that they feel that you're also hiding things from them. The player thinks that you may be playing them. So the Yeah, look at that. Accept my romantic gesture. I want to experience something meaningful with you. This person still has romantic feelings for you. But be very careful, Scorpio, if it was a third party or someone that was playing the field. Yeah, I'm deciding to stay single. I can't handle anything serious at the moment. Non-committal right now. I don't understand why they're wanting to come back around. Just tread carefully. A lot of you already know what's up is what I'm seeing. But if not, yeah, there are red flags here. So pay attention. It's giving me 50-50. I am getting that you need to be careful. And some of you, it's almost blocked. Like fate has blocked this pathway for you. they're wanting you to keep your options open this person's not right for you and if that is the case you intuitively know right where you were as we're establishing stronger boundaries where you're saying i deserve better but this person's still right nine of pentacles i'm deciding to stay single they can't quite give you what you deserve what is the potential outcome between scorpio and this person and keeping their options open yeah that is what i was feeling so that's confirmation They'll keep doing that hot and cold mix signals, confusing you if you were to continue this. But yes, Scorpio, that is what I have. Hopefully this gave you clarity in regards to your situation. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next week. Bye.